because there's multiple components associated also with this one. Here into the portal, we will find out into the same def Microsoft Defender for Cloud, named to the management section, we will find out a workflow automation option. So we can click there. Into this workflow automation, we will find out a list of workflow automated tasks that we have already that we can use it as reference to uh, configure into the alert and taking action options, for example. So we can click here on a bottom to start in creating a workflow automation process. And we can specify here a name for this, a description, an active subscription for this one, a resource group to create it, which is a logical container because the workflow automation will be created as a resource. We can specify trigger conditions to choose the trigger condition that will automatically trigger the configure action. For example, we can specify to react from the Defender for Cloud data type from when a security alert is generated, when a recommendation is generated, or when a rec regulatory compliance standard are generated, for example. We can specify an alert name contains and to see reference list of alerts. And we can specify an alert severity selecting all of them or just be very specific to reacting on low, medium, high, or just the informational one. And the actions on it. Into the actions, we can specify the automated responses on it. For the actions, we will need to call a logic app. A logic app is an Azure resource. Using the second tab, for example, I can show you how a logic app works. A logic app, for example, it's a web application but a web application that doesn't require for us to publish in some code, like with Visual Studio or something like that, to a traditional web application. The Logic App is part of the serverless application that we can use for an automation, a multi-step automation workflow. That the Logic App give us access to a user interface designer that we can use for selecting from templates, creating an automated response or an automated workflow. Uh, series of steps that runs uh, on different triggers and that we can consolidate it with the, or automate the response with actions and conditions, for example. I can start with a template, for example, to react, creating a logic app that will react on a trigger when a new, uh, when a new tweet is posted, for example, template, or when a new email is received in Outlook, or when an HTTP request is received, when a message is received in a service bus queue, when an event grid resource event occurs, or when a new file is created on OneDrive, or something like that. There is hundreds of connectors here, hundreds of connectors that we can use that are not necessarily Microsoft or Microsoft Azure connectors on it we will find out a lot of other third-party software as a service connector that we can integrate into our automated response. For example, we can specify that I would like to start with a blank logic app that is not selecting any template on it. So, but I can see the designer as an empty space, but okay, you can start searching from your trigger. The trigger will be the condition that triggers this automated response or this automated workflow, for example. I can search into the all triggers, for example, and I can use to display here from a global list all of the software as a service apps that we can use as regular triggers on it. For example, the trigger can be when a booking is being made into this software as a service app that I'm not so sure what is the purpose for that 10 to 8 appointment scheduling or something like that. When a, when there is a new contact into an act software as a service app or when an asset is added to Adobe Creative Cloud, for example, when you receive an airtime status notification from Africa's talking airtime on or you when an S3 object is updated into an M Amazon S3. This is like an storage account or a bucket, for example, for storage service on. When a message you receive from the SQSQ, this is some kind of a, a queue service, for example, on it, from AWS or from Amazon SQS. When a project is created with Asana, Azure API Management, Azure App Service, Azure DevOps, Azure Blob Storage, and multiple. If I'm looking for something really specific, then I can use the searching on it. I can see on the top, like the most frequently used, for example, the recommended for me, 
Salesforce, RSS feeds, OneDrive, EventGrid, Qs, FTP connection, SharePoint, Office 365, Twitter, Service Bus, Schedule Request, Dynamics 365, and many others. Standard enterprise and connectors, and we have the possibility to create our custom. But we will need to create the custom on a separate uh, uh, Logic App creation because there is a service called Logic App Connector. Logic App Custom Connector. We can follow the steps to create it there and build in our custom connector, and then we can see it with its custom name and description from this view, basically. Now, let me show you, do not waste some time, an existing Logic App that I have that is really basic into my other subscription that already expires. But we can see the three connectors that I'm using for this Logic App that I can use it for some kind of automated response by using a different channel for communication when there is an alert generated, for example, from the Defender for Cloud option. I can access to the Logic App Designer for this post message teams on alert, for example, and I can see how the blocks are configured from the triggers and actions from this Logic App. For example, here, I can see that on the top, I have the first connector that is representing the trigger. I can click on the option and this trigger, I just take it from the uh, list of the built-in connectors on. So here is a connector that the condition is, or the trigger condition is when a response to an Azure Sentinel alert is triggered. So that means that this connector is associated with the SIEM service from Microsoft, the Microsoft uh, Sentinel service. So from that context of the Sentinel service and the connected sources of their data, when there is an alert detected from the built-in queries or from my custom queries, that would be a condition that will trigger this connector on it to now perform a next step. And the next step is what? This connector for getting an incident from the alert from the Sentinel service. And this option is going to use some parameters for specify the subscription to connect to get the incident, specify the resource group, specify a workspace ID, and specify an alert ID for that. And you are going to extract all that information from the alert. And finally, we are going to use another connector that is a post, a message version three, to, and you can see the icon that is representing the Microsoft Teams option. So basically what I'm doing here is pulling the incident parameters and information and posting automatically all that information like into this default template of the body of the message into this team ID, into this channel ID that I'm just using for that, for using as a alert feed, for example, from the Sentinel. And then into the body of the message, it should include automatically the severity for the alert, the title for the Sentinel alert, the status, the number, created time, the URL, and some entities involved. Now, to show you this option, let me open an in private session because that is actually with that account, I do have that team, that team, the Microsoft Teams team. And I have a channel that I just create specifically for that. So I can sign in to teams.microsoft.com with the same account from the tenant that I'm using. For example, that I have credentials on a notepad file that are the global administrator user principal name and a corresponding password here that I will paste it. And I should sign in to teams.microsoft.com with this in private session. When I'm signing in, then I will see that I have the conditions created from the, the Teams team and the channel into that particular team on. Don't remember the name for the team, but well, the name of the team is SOC for security operations team, for example. There's the default general channel and the channel that I just created for that purpose is the new alerts option. So this information in the form of the ID from the connector and the ID for the channel is the information that I'm specifying here. This is my SOC team 
represented by this ID, and this is my new alerts channel into that SOC team on it. So I will expect that from the Sentinel service under that subscription, but my subscription already expires. I can afford like an alert, for example, when there is a new alert detected from that Sentinel service under that subscription, uh, that alert is going to automatically then get incident connector, pull the information from it, and it's going to automatically post a message in real time with all this information pulled from that alert, basically. On. And I will see a message into the feed of that channel that all of the information posted there will be, for example, uh, information from a new alert created on. So all of the members for the team will see the message, will see a notification, and they will receive the alert, basically. Other mechanisms can send the copy of the alert details into an email, for example, but in this case, I just created for demonstration purposes that I can use this logic app for automating a series of step process. Really basic in this case, but I can add more and more steps for making it as simple or as complex as I need, like using a decision operation log. For example, evaluate some uh, output after processing with this connector, and if the output is major or equal to this decimal value, then that will be a true, and using the true or false condition with a Boolean condition on it. And if it is true, then do this. But if it is false, that the value is uh, uh, less than this decimal number on it, then it will be a false. And then if it is a false, then do this. Uh, connect to another email service and send an email notification to somebody or uh, store this information, if it is true, to a database because I would like to use it on the future or I can integrate this database with an application to also display some information and create it some ticket or something like that, for example. So we can use this workflow automation on it. Now, if we create this logic app, then when we return to the processes here, for example, we can click on take action and we can specify trigger automated responses on. Okay, I wanted to trigger a logic app and which logic app? The post message, for example, for, well, in my case, my disabled subscription, but I can see, I should see if my subscription was active, that I can, from this security alert, if I understand that my post message teams on alert is the one that I would like to use for the automated response, I can select it from the list and clicking on the trigger, or I can view and modify my logic app if I would like to reconfigure that. Under the context of the Defender for Cloud, the, automated, the automation response that I create and the reference that I can use for a logic app, it is receiving a name of a playbook. So the playbook is equivalent to a logic app 